Hey guys, it's Tia, welcome to the video. Just wanted to give a tea public update on how much I've made in total in my first year, like I did with Redbubble, and talk about some of my thoughts on the platform as well. Now don't worry, I will be dealing with the backlog of Redbubble questions in the next Redbubble video, which will actually be the, the next video that I post, so you can keep an eye out for that if you asked a question. Stay subscribed, obviously, at Bell On, and I know I missed a couple of questions, so I'll try my best to find those stray questions and collect them all um, so I can deal with them all together at once. So on to today's topic, which is tea Public. Now, I've actually been on this website for a year and a bit now, same as Redbubble, started a little later after Redbubble, actually. Now, the situation with tea Public is that I have one account and I've got 95 uploads most of which I did recently um, and basically the story is that I uploaded like 25 things uh, I think in 2020, it didn't really take me very long um, but then a few days later they told me my designs wouldn't show up so I just gave up on TeePublic to be honest um, but then I randomly got a sale out of nowhere which made me realise that my designs were still showing up on Google so then I decided to upload more things and uh, just the things that were selling for me on Redbubble and Etsy with the same tags and titles and I managed to then get sales here as well. Obviously um, I haven't spent as much effort on TeePublic but for the amount of designs I have I think it's a reasonable return especially since I didn't do any extra work for it than just the uploading and obviously making the account. Um, I'll explain more about what I mean later. And at one point I was actually making daily sales. So you can see here that I've been, uh, I made quite a lot of sales on um, Wednesday. I did get five sales in one day here, which was pretty cool, um, but the margins are very small. And you can see that most of my sales are actually recent, so hopefully that trend continues. So as you can see here, I've connected uh, my Google Analytics to my T Public account and I get pretty much all the traffic from Google, so that's uh, Google cost per click advertising and Google shopping ads, um, because as I said, they don't index my designs on their platforms. So as you can see, it is still possible to make sales even if your stuff doesn't show up on their marketplace. Now, unfortunately, T Public doesn't show you your total revenue. Um, it would be interesting to know. I could technically find out um, by like going through all my emails and adding up numbers, but I really can't be asked. So. Um, I will just assume that my profit margin is around 15% and I'll go off that um, estimating by dividing my profits by 0 0.15 and then that should give me my total revenue for what is like around my first year on T Public. Okay, so let's start the grand reveal. My total number of products sold is 97 and I've made $232.75 since starting. For total revenue estimate, if we divide that by 0 0.15, then we get around $1,551, I believe. So yeah, that's not too bad, actually. I'll take that. And uh, just for interest, this is uh, January slash February's payout for this month. Um, so yeah, most of the money that I've earned is actually coming from recent sales rather than before. Um, so that's a good sign. And yeah, I say for me, it's uh, worth it for the effort I put in proportionally, even though, you know, it's not a massive amount of money, but it's basically free money to me because other than like setting up the account, I've already made the designs and I have the list of keywords stored up, which uh, I can use for all my stores. So that's a tip as well. Like if you just have, uh, say, like a Google Doc with each design, the title, the description, and the keywords or tags that you want to use. You've got that saved there, and if you want to upload variations or upload it to different platforms, then it makes life so much easier. As for why my designs might not be showing up in the marketplace, uh, I don't really know. I've uploaded a profile picture and a banner, and I've also filled in all the information um, and all, as I said before, but it doesn't really matter anyway because, as you've seen, I still get Google traffic. So now you've seen my results, I'd suggest that if you're on the fence about trying to public, then learn a different print on demand platform first, get stuff selling on there and then come back to TeePublic to take advantage of uh, the free Google advertising essentially. So that's just my opinion, but I wouldn't recommend starting with TeePublic as your like, very first print on demand platform because, um, well, firstly, the website marketplace gets much less traffic like in comparison to other print on demand platforms. So if we uh, compare the traffic, I've got a uh, Google, Chrome extension here, which tells you the Alexa rank. So that's the Alexa rank. So that's 4225. If we type it in here, we can see that the uh, predicted daily unique visitors is about 
um, 147k, while another marketplace um, like Redbubbles, we can see is much higher. So that's like 855, if you type that in there, 855, you can see that they get more than half a million visitors every day. That's just Redbubble. If you're on something like Merch by Amazon, um, then it will be like significantly higher than that. So that just puts into perspective around how much traffic um, each website is getting. Obviously, uh, this is just an estimate. You can't really very accurately tell um, how much traffic a website is getting, but it is probably going to be pretty close. So significantly less traffic on the Public marketplace. Essentially, that's why I'm not too bothered about my designs not showing up because the Google shopping ads um, and the CPC ads are probably going to be doing more of the heavy lifting anyway in terms of driving traffic than the marketplace itself. In essence, what that tells us is that nobody really goes, oh, I want to buy a shirt. I'll go to Tee Public. But there are a lot of people who are like, I want to buy stickers. Time to go to Redbubble or no, I want to buy a shirt, time to go to Etsy, you know. Um, but the upside of that is that while there's not as much traffic as other sites, there's also less competition. So another advantage or a reason why it has less competition is because there won't be as many tag spammers um, because you can't put the same tag twice and also you can't add more than 15 tags. Um, I guess people could still add irrelevant tags, but it'll be nowhere as near as bad on places like Redbubble. If you want some of the best tags for TeePublic and the best selling ones, you can use this Merch Titans free TeePublic tag generator tool. Basically, uh, you enter a tag in here and it scrapes the tags off the best selling designs for your niche based on a keyword and then you can edit them accordingly. Um, I actually don't, there's an equivalent tool for Redbubble, but I don't use that tool because of all the tag spammers and all you get is the same tag over and over again. Um, but for TeePublic, it's good because they limit the tags. So obviously you uh, won't get that problem here. Now, just to reiterate my point, um, TeePublic is a good option. If you don't show up in the marketplace like me, then that's completely fine. You know, my designs don't show up. And as you can see, I've made quite a bit of money regardless. So it's not the end of the world. But my point is that you won't know what's selling if you start off in that situation. So it's much easier if you can start off with another site um, you know you're going to show up in, whether that's much by Amazon, Redbubble or Etsy. I'd recommend those three in particular. Um, do your research on which one you like the best you know, SEO and designs and then wait and see what sells. Take those designs you've already got selling so then you can upload them on TeePublic and take advantage of their Google ads without doing any extra work to get more traffic to your designs which are already selling or their marketplace traffic if you're lucky enough to show up there. And trust me when I say that your designs really show up on Google if you put the keywords in, uh, if you upload them onto TeePublic because I've actually had a customer on Etsy message me asking for a refund because they saw the same shirt on Tee Public and they were going to buy it from there instead. So, um, I mean, I agreed, even though that was kind of embarrassing, but just goes to show you that you should take advantage of the extra traffic they give you on Google. Obviously, uh, same for other platforms. Make sure to remember your SEO, so titles and tags. And this time the description matters a lot more since a higher proportion of your traffic is coming from Google. So I said, um, I think for Redbubble SEO video, I said the description doesn't matter or something like that in the tutorial. But someone pointed out, um, quite rightly so, that it doesn't matter for the Redbubble marketplace, but that doesn't mean it doesn't matter for Google. Um, it does which is a fair point. So make sure to put your keywords in the description. If you're wondering, no, I don't do a custom description for every single design. I do my copywriting at the beginning. Um, so that's something like get this awesome design available on other products, blah, blah, blah. And then I literally copy and paste the tags into the rest of the description. Obviously it's best if you can write a custom description, um, but I don't have that much time to be honest. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you found it interesting and useful to see how much I made on my first year on TeePublic and also my thoughts on the platform. Got discount codes and socials down below as well as my website and I will see you guys in the next video.